There were 111 goals when these two teams met in the final in 2016. Are we going to see the same tonight when the University of Pretoria take on the Northwest University in the final of Varsity Sport Netball for 2017? My very important partner in crime today, former Spa Pro Tier, Simeon Dom. Important partner indeed. Thanks, Kev. It's always great to join you here in the commentary booth, and I think especially for such an important game. Lucky then, Tangent. And victorious. Big partner with Andy Pocket. That hasn't she been a revelation this season? In fact, if you have a look at the two teams, the two goal shooters, Venture and Berger, both internationals, both highly experienced. Now, this is a turnover ball for Tux, and they could go in front for the first time and do through Ina Marie Fenter. But it is early days. Um, I mean, let's give credit to Jessica Duplessis. She read the ball so well, and it could be a critical goal for NWU. The things that we spoke, that's a wonderful goal from Jessica Duplessis as well. We level a four all and back on centre pass. There's talk around that if you do get under the skin of Ina Marie Fenter, that she can be very tough to get back into a game on her own accord. And what sometimes happens is that she's got to be taken off and replaced for a court or even for, for, for a couple of minutes or something. Just let her to relax and then put her back on, on the court. Nicely picked up there by Marlies de Bruin. Contact by Sandra Erasmus. So, Romani Potkita will have the shot or pass for that matter. And the defender will tie us up at nine. Well, there hasn't been more than uh, one goal difference between the two sides through the entire match so far. But they have an opportunity now to stretch it away to two goals, but we've said that before. Neither side has quite been able to capitalise on the other side's mistakes. Good play there, Ronnie Brenica, along in Marie. Fanta space, and Tuts lead by two. Great partner uh, is a very brave coach, and she will make any changes that she feels is completely necessary. In the meantime, Tuts have scored the first goal of the second quarter, and they lead by three, and they could lead by four in a moment. What a spectacular steal there by Shadeen. Finder Maver, absolutely amazing. 14 goals to 10. You, you know, we spoke about it right from the word go from the second quarter. Tux came out dominant. They very um, definite in all their moves and how they want to play. I think that's actually the first goal that's come from NWU. So, slow start, but they certainly still in the game. Potkita gets us off in position as uh, Rabi and Erasmus try to contain in the middle defender. And the Tux fans are absolutely stoked by that. They lead by five goals to Tux. And it's been brilliant to watch as uh, Jessica Duplessis will keep the scoreboard rolling as far as the Northwest University situation is concerned. Yeah, Kev, you called it. You said, you know, in the second quarter, you've seen this come from UP Tux. But a great opportunity there for NWU to close the gap as they get a two pointer of that point. Anja Listerazen with a little bit of a high finish on that occasion, but uh, suddenly Northwest University have an opportunity to tie this one up. Beautiful pop in pass from Rome Drea. Duplessis will tie us up. Momentum shifter. Beautiful feed from Marlies de Bruyne. Venta has tucked back in front. Decisive. Moment between these two sides. Siggy Berger to tie us up at 41. Goes over the top. Well, there was contact by Siegelmeyer. They'll come back. The Tuck supporters thinking that uh, the game was almost won and it might very well have been from that situation, but no, it's not. So let's look at the situation. If there's an interception, then Northwest University can win this. And the Marie Fenters having none of it. She want to convert this as quickly as possible. Does so. Tuck's lead by one. One minute remaining. If Tuck score from this, it's done. So they'll have the next pass, that's for sure. Romani Potkita. Dao, contact made by Monique Reinecke. Beautiful pass from Tina Dao. Venta misses one. She'll have another chance. Venta will win the Varsity Sports Netball competition. And revenge will be sweet for Jenny Van Dijk. It's all over. Tux win for the first time, and there's no hat trick of varsity sport netball titles for the Northwest University. And eventually came down to just two goals, but those two goals were in favour of Tux. They win the competition by 43 goals to 41, and congratulations. And the University of Pretoria Tux are the 2017 varsity netball champions.